Hello my dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. Welcome back to Clive Games. And we're going to be continuing our break of Final from Final Fantasy XIV with our smuggler story. Um, I went ahead and sold the unnecessary items in my inventory so we can just go through um, and open up the stuff that we got from that mission. Alright, so the rest of the... Gifts. I'll probably put these in a storage area somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know if I can sell that. I probably can't since it's an XP bonus. I don't need it. Uh, credit. I need to sell that for credits. Gathering lockbox. Oh, this is stuff you can put in um your strongholds. They're kind of put like into their own storage area that can I think can be unlimited. But let's see this. Uh, MK2 cash. I've never actually gotten that before. That's new. Alright. We got a new shotgun. Actually pretty decent. Uh, new wrist guards. And earpiece is another piece of gear we haven't gotten yet. Uh, new boots. Actually, okay. And new belt. Awesome. I guess it's just like an enhanced, um, upgraded version of that, um, box we got from the heroic mission. So cool. The boots kind of match our gloves. Still got a nice ass. And the chest piece, I like the last chest piece a lot better than this chest piece. But we're finally getting off Ord Mantel. I know, it's great. Alright. Let's see if anything. We don't get another thing for our specialized, uh, specialization until level 19 we're going to lock another one of these. How much longer you got? One more week and I'm back to Coruscant for officer evals. Yeah, let's go this way. No thanks. That was random voice. That's up the animation there. Anguas nimni mata sunri for papocha will be. I'm sick of being cooped up on Starship, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Biz gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat yachavopa. Um. Tell Rogan to get spaced. Ooh, a fighter. This might be fun after all. Na joba non botafa. Vaket kuna chidunik na nolia. Is Gamayo Kojedwanti Noa Huyat Yachavopa? You guys want a thief named Skavik, not me. Yatuka Poka Fukrida Vota Mokrita Chai Chai Oto Nuava de Konai Tukta Hod Mishka Punda. Sorry, I only travel first class. Jotapa Slimo Gusha Scorni. But I'm glad you didn't. There. Better? Some health to him. Oh yeah, we got. I forgot we got that um boost to our uh, slow release med pack healing. All right, 
now to actually get on the shuttle that will take us away from here. Travel to the Republic fleet. Influence improves the companion's combat performance and improves the result of crew skills and missions. Alright, now you can change his um, gear, but their gear doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go with that. See what that looks like. Yeah, because their gear, it used to matter. Like, you used to have to keep their gear up. Uh, updated just as much as your own, but not anymore. Okay, not bad, not great, not bad. I might, between episodes, um, get one of my unlocked outfits and put it on him to make him look better, but we'll see. So now I'm not a really big fan of that thing on his back. Well, welcome to the Republic Air Fleet. The Republic Fleet Station. Yeah. Alright, now there are some missions over here. Let's see. Group Finder? No. War Zones? No, that's PvP. Uh, crafting Trainers? I'll do that real quick. Uh, I'm not going to craft anything. I'm just going to get pure um, gathering skills. Um, because by the time you actually craft gear, uh, you've already got gear that's better than what you've already crafted, so there's no point to that. So I'm gonna... This is where you go. Alright, Synth Weaving, basically for Jedi. Armor Tech for... Um, other ones. Biochem for Adrenals. Artifice to create lightsabers, arms tech for blasters, cyber tech for implants and earpieces, uh, basically accessories. Um, in here, these are specialized gathering missions, underworld trading. No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, remove that. Yes, I don't want that. Um, Treasure hunting, diplomacy, and investigation. These are these are how you, uh, one so you can get to get um, gifts for your companions or very specific items for crafting. And then these are all your craft uh, gathering, scavenging. We'll train with that, slicing. We'll train with that. Uh, archaeology. We'll train with that. And you can only have three um, disciplines, so be very selective. And let's see, I'm going to explore a little bit. We're not going to get really in the far of the story, I kind of want to explore, see what changes they've made to this area. Because it's a big area, they got a lot going on. Alright, what's in here? Flagship, conquest, conquest. What's this? Oh, uh, this is how you. Um, purchase a flagship for your guild if you if you join a guild uh, I don't know how popular guilds are anymore uh, I used to only get into guilds to get that EXP boost I needed uh, these are where you purchase strongholds they got a lot let's see I've got the Yavin oh I need the Alderaan I got the Coruscant I've got Manon I've got Nar Shadda. I've got Tatooine I don't know if I have Rishi. Uh, let me see. But, uh, nope. Huh. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I need Alderaan. Oh, that's four million. Dang, that's expensive. How much is Rishi? Three million. Dang, that's that's expensive. Free to uh, play players only have. Oh, uh, that's social. That's group stuff I'm not doing um 
the capacity hold only one million. Um, credits at a time. You can earn more into that. You'll put. You can just put it into your legacy stronghold. So don't worry about that. Um, this is stronghold mission, but I already have a stronghold, so I'm not really gonna do that. It's just kind of like a hey, blah blah blah. If you want this, I don't speak. Only he speaks, but. If y'all want me to share that, I'll show it to you later, but it's not really that important. Alrighty, let's go uh, to this side. Uh, oh, that's closed off. Okay. Uh, what's in there? What's here? Uh, kiosks. Basically where you're, you can buy and sell stuff to players in-game. What's in here? Uh, social items, companion gifts, and yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, mounts, speeders, stuff like that. If you need to buy one, see anything you I like. Have, a new wink. I might Bring have to your buy one back anytime. Once we actually unlock this bucket, let's see. This is uh, personal cargo. This is just your characters. This is shared between all your characters, and then that's guild stuff. Like I got, like you saw it. I got a crap ton of stuff. Um, this is my personal, so I'm going to go put my gifts in there. I might use them later, but we'll see. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Oh, facial, you can, for, I think it costs real money to change your facial features, so, oops, sorry. Um, so if you aren't happy with how your character looks, you can either A, restart the whole character over, or B, purchase um, these. You also automatically get them when you subscribe. It's like every once a month you get a certain number of uh, those special coins. Oh, we'll, we'll explore that later. Um, these bots everywhere, they're missions that we'll get later on in the game. Let's see what we got. This seems to be crafting. Yeah, this is where you can buy mods based on level. Yeah, all of these look except down there mods. You can tell by their insignia. Um uh galactic light side bender. Using a lightsaber is just as much science as art. I guess we if can you, spar anytime. Um, I've got good suppliers. Only the best sold here. If you're attuned really heavily to, to the browse. light side, you can buy stuff from them. Oh, this is that. Uh, I guess this is the other side, dark side. What's in your unbeatable quality, unbeatable prices? This might be... Ah, here's somebody who knows quality. Welcome to our market, potential customer. Uh, Renown? I think that's like after you reach max level and you're a sub, you Thank can you for earn your patronage. Renown experience. Uh, Mel... I think Good this is like there. all in-game stuff. It looks like... What's in here? Yeah, tacticals are a new thing they added. I haven't gotten into. Um, that's in-game stuff. Apparently, they like kind of can kind of really change how you play the class and make it really more personal. I don't believe that, but let's see. We started here, so we only have one more area. Then we're gonna go look at the center. Uh, okay, and then this is where you can purchase new abilities like we have been doing like this is where all the um ability trainers are and this dude if i remember right is where i bought that so you don't dude chill um if you don't want that exp boost that's where you get it it can be reused and you can use it through all your characters you just have to have it in your inventory this is the guy you come talk to if you want to change your specialization, like if I want to change from Scrapper to Sawbones, I'd have to talk to him. And 
then this is the smugglers. And then it goes all the way down to night. Uh, this looks like mission. Yeah, heroic missions. You can grab all of the heroic missions in the entire game from right here. Uh, priority. PvP. This is uh, PvP vendors. Ooh, Wookie. Alright, and this is where we left off, because if you see right here, Tython and Ornamental departures. Yep, this is where we came in. So let's go up here and see the center. We got some more stuff up here. This is your fast travel point, because there are multiple things. Yep. Um, security key vendor. I think you have to pay to have a security vendor. A security key. Um... This guy, I think, only if you pre-ordered the Shadow of Revan expansion. See, that's ah uh, la la the um lore for this area. Uh, turbo lifts. We'll get to those later. More cargo holds. Nothing really looks like it's. That big of a deal. I haven't really changed much. Uh, story arc, I guess that's. Uh, oh, yeah, that's for Ilum, which is level 50. Story. And then we got down here in the cantina. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Alright. A lot of people come down here and role play. Whenever you're in a cantina or on your ship, uh, Zergetsu whispered me. I don't know why, whatever. Um, but whenever, when I said you're in a safe zone uh, and your companion wants to talk to you, you can do like a little This is the best feeling. A sky full of stars, a new planet waiting across the galaxy, never gets old. Why do you think I never settled down? There's something about cities, all that plasteel and concrete. Ways too much to ever feel free. When I came back to Ord Mantell, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for giving me a way off. Oh, he wants he has another. Okay. So, how about that war, huh, Captain? You think the Republic will stop hiding behind the Treaty of Coruscant and admit they want the Empire wiped out? It doesn't sit right negotiating with people who want every man, woman, and kid dead. What does it matter how they kill each other, as long as there's credits to be made? And you call me naive. There's no credits to be made in an Imperial slave collar. I joined the Peace Brigade when I was 14. I know what a world looks like when the Empire's done with it. The way Skavik talked, I thought you were fresh off the farm. Me and Skavik weren't as close as he thought. The Brigade's a relief organization. Go into worlds abandoned by the Treaty of Coruscant, help people displaced by the Empire. I was a kid looking for an adventure. After two months, let's just say there are no kids in war zones. All right. So even if you get, uh, even if he disapproves or approves, both count as influence, so there's no up and down. There used to be. It used to be really bad if they got disapproval, if you're trying to get a pure approval, and vice versa. But now, with it, with it, whichever one you do, you're always going to get. Um... Oh, I need to go. I'll be right back. I need to go talk to this dude over here to finish up. Because once you learn it, you got to apparently interact with them, even though you don't learn anything from your gathering uh, teachers. Crafting, you'll have to keep up to date, but like you'll have to go back to them every like 10 levels, I think, or something like that. So. Okay, cool things. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go all the way down there.
down to the Coruscant departures. Beraka Karamkara, and Ninyamak Oramag Yang Nigik. Bomogala Apayang, and Nilama Imi Amka Amga. Nuli lak apa jam kamgram. Am kanem nang nemua inuk. Definitely. No question about it. Mem ilik meraka. Nayanaram. Kam kalu amik manik. Manala yang perlu. Am kat kalami nayakira nebua. Alright, so this is the first um, group content you can do. Um. You could do veteran mode if you could try to find someone. You can go into group finder or party finder if you're below level 14, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it won't let you. So I'm going to do story mode. And story there, they changed a lot of the group content to make it with story mode so you can solo it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do it because it's got a little story that kind of ties in with some later stuff. So I'll be doing that. Unfortunately, it does take a very long time to do. I think it's like a 30 minute run because it's a very, very story heavy um, dungeon. So I'm going to cut the video off really early here so that when we start in the next episode, we're going to dive straight into this Esselis. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, scratch that. Uh, we're actually going to... Uh, explore a little bit more since that video was actually a little shorter than I thought let's see drop shift anger okay so this is how you can physically directly go into the group content instances like the dungeons you can physically go in through here Uh, this is how, yeah, this is how you get to the other ships, to those. Uh, we might explore those at a later time when we actually have to go to them, but for now we're just going to stick to this main station. Starfighter launch deck. This might be for that uh, PvP Starfighter thing I never got into. Um, this five yards, I might be up flash point I'm not sure Let's see yeah this is that um that you can fly a starship in space and do like space combat and all that jazz not gonna do that I think I tried it once and I just didn't understand what the heck I was doing there's like no tutorial no nothing whatsoever uh, outbound Oh, this is a story area, late game, well, sort of late game, I think it's like level 60. I think the max level for this game right now is 75, I think, is it? I don't know. And this, I guess this is a story place? I'm not sure, what was it? Briefing deck. Hmm. Oh no. What else can we explore? The Cartel Bazaar. That's a cool mount, I like that. Cartel Bazaar. I think this is like uh, role playing wise, it's uh, a deck dedicated to the Hut Cartel, which is like a group of the Huts. Lots of 
vendors. Big scrap. Kiba Tabatu. Eight scrap Jawa junk. I don't know what all this is. Moro Shoto. Moro Shoto. All this is for reputation. Oh, I think this is like every every month or so they have different events like right now I guess it's the Gree event uh, they got a um, bounty hunter event like you go and actually no matter what class you are you can um, complete bounties Ichubana? fractal DNA canister I have Big DNA shot. canisters? okay Take a look at the stock. Oh, you what can, can I buy, get? You? Um, more looks for your companions. Does he have one? So, of course, it uh, doesn't look like it since it's alphabetical. That's Appreciate tough. your business. Cantina. Your companion tamer. Not eligible for compensation. Okay. I guess these are. Oh, uh, so I guess they added a thing where you can actually have creatures like this as your companion. That's cool. Or droids. Huh. That's actually really cool. Take a look. Everything you see is for sale. Okay. Just some Come extra back anytime. Stuff. We hope our inventory will meet your needs. Okay. Thank you for your patronage. Take a look. Oh, I'm going to go ahead. And Everything you see is for sale. So, all can so all this stuff that I can't get. Ooh, that's there's his thing. Uh, nah. Okay. Come back anytime. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm actually going to go ahead and expand twice. 20k, I can afford that. 50k, oh, let's save the 50k until we get a little bit more money. Because I don't really want to go down to 30k yet because we need the money for something. I don't know what we would, but we'll see. But that's what I got all the gathering classes for because we can go around and gather stuff as we go and then we can just sell it. Not even like to other people, just sell it to in-game vendors uh we actually got a little bit more time so we can i guess we'll go explore telos i guess um i'm gonna cut it out here and i'll show you once we get there the other way okay so the other way i'm talking about because words aren't my forte apparently when i record uh is using the transportation but I don't remember where we teleport directly so I was like oh we'll just start here like you should if you don't have fast travel uh, command deck I conquest increase okay, level one. oh I leveled up from exploring that's funny all right so just your generic looking ship um, and actually, this is, uh, if I remember, it's been a long time ago since I was in a guild with this game. Um, the, if you buy a guild flagship, it actually doesn't look too much different from this. Not this area, but that front area we just saw. I guess it's a mission area. But yeah, it was really cool because you can actually like guild um, leaders can 
customize how it looks just like you do your strongholds it's it's really cool these are missions we'll do later if I remember right kind of important missions also they are actually kind of important um, and they kind of tie into the game I talked about in the first episode Knights of the Old Republic um, you'll still be able to understand it for the most part and I'll try to explain everything that's going on but uh, it does help if you've played the game or at least watched the game on YouTube this is one guy I don't remember what his name who it was but there was this one guy who I really enjoyed actually watching him do the let's play of it I might find out who it is and let y'all know but I don't I just can't remember who it was that I watched okay it's, what is this area Medical. Yeah, and I used to role play always like a doctor, whatever. Um, and it was fun. It was really fun. Objective Meridian. Objective Meridian. Uh, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. That might be one of the hard ones that I was never able to do. And then my favorite um, role play, I was always, um, I, I play Imperial a lot more than I play Republic side. I don't know why, I just love Imperial. Um, and I would always play Mercenary. And my idea was I was an ex-doctor turned mercenary once I accidentally killed a patient. Well Please select an available travel route. And got money for it because it turns out he was a bounty. And it was really fun to roleplay that, like some of the guilds I was in were really, really good role players. Uh, I wasn't the best at it, and sometimes it did feel a little weird. Um, but I, I I found it fun. I found it fun. It's kind of it's what kind of why I want to try um D and D sometime. But ain't got no group. Oh, how much longer do I have? We might have just enough time to explore this ship. I might go over, but uh, why not? Alrighty, another basic looking front ship. Oh, a training area? That's kind of cool. Last time I was here, I remember touching this thing and it bolstered me. And I had no idea what the heck I had done to myself. I was freaking out. I was like, wait, what? What's going on? Museum. Oh, this is cool. They got like a little museum in here. Ooh. Future exhibit. I feel like it's been like that forever. Oh, more future exhibit. I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, remember a long time ago that you never came to the museum but throughout every planet 
there are holocrons, which are like these glowing little cubes uh, that you have to use to collect with every char individual character. And they gave you stat bonuses that were kind of expected for you to get. If you didn't, it wasn't the end of the world, but... And they made you do some major platforming. Like, you had to, like, jump just so, like, example, like, I had to jump so, just so to get up here, to get up here, to get up here, uh, hop, hop, like, it was ridiculous. And I used to spend hours doing it. I don't think I have enough time to explore everything, but I think, I remember, yeah, these are operations. Uh, operations are eight man stuff. So, that is directive seven. Okay. Um, yeah, I never got into operations. I could, I just, I'm just not good enough to do them. I could try and learn how to do it, but I don't, like, I don't know how to get even started with that nowadays but all right so this time it is the end of the episode in the next one we are going to be starting the SLS so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope to see y'all next time